Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best 4K TVs. Starting at number 5. LG B3 Series. If you want something cheaper but still want high-end features and great performance, a mid-range TV like the LG B3 OLED is an excellent choice. The TV has all the features of the more expensive LG C3 OLED, but the B3 is dimmer and has only two HDMI 2.1 bandwidth ports. It still delivers outstanding picture quality, especially in a dark room, with its near-infinite contrast ratio delivering deep, inky blacks with no distracting blooming. Its built-in WebOS platform is just as fast on this lower-tier model, and it still has very good image processing, so it has no issues upscaling lower-resolution content if you watch DVDs, cable boxes, or Blu-rays. It also has Dolby Vision HDR and supports DTS Advanced Audio Formats, which is great for physical media as it tends to use DTS for their audio tracks. Its viewing angle is fantastic, so viewers can watch the TV from all over the room without degrading their viewing experience. Like the C3, this TV has a wide color gamut and is extremely accurate without any calibration, so movies look as the content creator intended. This TV is also great for gaming, as it's compatible with every VRR technology, has a fantastic response time, and has extremely low input lag. Its two HDMI 2.1 ports have up to 4K at 120Hz support, although unfortunately, like on the Sony X93L X93CL, one of its HDMI 2.1 ports also doubles as the TV's eARC port, leaving you with only one high-speed port if you have a soundbar connected through eARC. The LG B4 OLED will be out this year and will bring some improvements with it. The TV has a new processor that brings the AI Picture Pro feature to it, has HDMI 2.1 bandwidth on all four of its ports, and is available in a 48-inch model meant for smaller rooms. Coming at number 4. LG C3 Series. If you want a good home entertainment OLED but don't want to get the expensive Sony A95L OLED, Check out one of the best upper mid-range TVs we've tested, the LG C3 OLED. It's an incredible TV that delivers picture quality similar to that of the Samsung model. It uses a different type of OLED panel that delivers the same perfect blacks in a dark room, but its colors aren't as bright and vibrant as those found on QD OLED TVs, and HDR content doesn't stand out as well due to the LG's lower peak brightness. The LG partly makes up for it with its versatility, as it has very good image processing, has Dolby Vision HDR support with Dolby Vision gaming at 120Hz, and can pass through advanced DTS audio formats. Like the Sony TVs, the LG supports Dolby Vision HDR, which is more widely used than Samsung's competing HDR10+. It's available in a wider range of sizes, from a small 42-inch up to an impressive 83-inch size. Thanks to its wide range of gaming features, it's a fantastic choice for gamers. All four of its HDMI ports have HDMI 2.1 bandwidth, all of which can do up to 4K at 120Hz. It also supports all VRR technologies, ensuring a nearly tear-free gaming experience from any VRR-compatible source. Plus, it has nearly instantaneous response time and low input lag, so it's truly a gaming standout. If you love this TV but wish it were more vibrant, consider the more expensive LG G3 OLED. The G3 is one of the brightest OLEDs on the market and is certainly brighter than the C3, but the price difference is not worth it for most people. The LG C4 OLED is the 2024 successor to this TV and will be available soon. It can do up to 4K at 144Hz, has a new processor, and is supposed to be brighter than its predecessor. At number 3. Sony 65-inch. If you're not in a completely dark room, the benefits of the Samsung S90C OLED or Sony A95L OLED are less noticeable, so an LED TV like the Sony X93L slash X93CL might be a better choice. This TV delivers excellent picture quality, with deep blacks and very bright highlights that stand out the way the content creator intended. It's a fantastic choice for a bright living room thanks to its high peak brightness and superb reflection handling, so glare isn't an issue. It looks good in a dark room, 
but it relies on a mini LED backlight to produce deep blacks, so there's more noticeable blooming around bright objects than on the Samsung. It's a great TV for any use. It has a great selection of gaming features, including HDMI 2.1 bandwidth on two of its four ports, meaning you can enjoy 4K at 120Hz gaming from recent consoles or a recent PC GPU. It also has an excellent response time and fantastic input lag for a very responsive gaming experience. It supports HDMI Forum VRR and GSWNC, so VRR works with any source. It's available in three sizes, from a 65-inch size to a huge 85-inch model, all sizes deliver incredible picture quality, with an adequate viewing angle, deep blacks, and a wide color gamut for HDR content. For those with deep pockets, the Sony X95L is the best LED TV on the market, but it is only available in an 85-inch size in North America. Plus, and as amazing as it is, it's not worth the price increase over the X93L for most people. Number 2 of my list Sony QD OLED If you want the absolute best TV for a basement home theater, get the Sony A95L OLED. It's significantly more expensive than the Samsung S90C OLED, but it's better for a home theater setup as it has wider format support than the Samsung TV and delivers a more accurate image overall, especially in HDR. Compared to Samsung's HDR10 Plus format, the Sony TV supports the more popular Dolby Vision HDR, so you'll enjoy the most advanced HDR experience possible from almost any source. Sony's processing does a better job following the content creator's intent, so the brightness and colors of HDR content look the way they're supposed to. It also supports more advanced audio formats than the Samsung, like Dolby DTS X Passthrough over eARC, so you don't have to worry about the audio formats that your favorite movies use. It displays an incredibly wide HDR color gamut and looks stunning in a dark room thanks to its nearly infinite contrast ratio, delivering perfect blacks with no distracting blooming around bright areas of the screen. It also gets very bright, so HDR content stands out, and colors are bright and vibrant. It's only available in three sizes, 55, 65, and 77 inches. The A95L is very expensive, so if you want a Sony OLED specifically for its processing capabilities, the Sony A80L-A80CL OLED is much cheaper. Still, it's a big step down in brightness and color vibrancy. And number 1. Samsung 65-inch. The best 4K TV we've tested is the Samsung S90C OLED. It's an incredible 4K TV that looks amazing in a dark room, as bright highlights in HDR content stand out incredibly well, with no distracting blooming or haloing around bright areas of a scene. Its QD OLED panel has much brighter and more vibrant colors than the Wolade panels found on some other OLEDs. It runs Samsung's Tizen OS Smart Interface, which is easy to use and has a great selection of streaming apps and games. Unlike some other TVs, the Samsung model doesn't support Dolby Vision HDR, nor does it support advanced DTS audio formats. It does support Samsung's less widely used HDR10 Plus format, which looks just as good as Dolby Vision. This TV is also great for gaming thanks to its near-instantaneous response time, so there's no noticeable ghosting behind fast-moving objects. Its input lag is extremely low, resulting in a very responsive gaming experience, and it has a few great gaming features, including variable refresh rate (VRR), support to reduce screen tearing. Finally, it supports up to 4K at 144Hz on all four HDMI ports or 120Hz on the 83-inch model, so you can take full advantage of the latest gaming consoles and graphics cards. It's available in four sizes, 55, 65, 77, and 83 inches, but the 83-inch model uses a Wolaid panel. It has a higher tier model, the Samsung S95C OLED, but it's more expensive, and even though it's brighter than the S90C, the cheaper model is the better buy for most people. The Samsung S90D is the 2024 follow-up to this TV. It has a new gaming feature called Auto AI Mode, which is supposed to automatically adjust the picture settings depending on the game genre, and it's available in more size options. 
Samsung's 2024 OLED lineup is confusing due to their decision to release TVs with the same model number with both WOLED and QD OLED panels, with no easy way to identify what type of panel you're getting. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.